I'm Lois Park, the Head of Community and Stakeholder Engagement at Transport for Wales and I work with the team to uh, help ensure that the communities and our stakeholders across South Wales are kept involved and informed with regard to the Metro project. Metro will truly transform the way we travel across South Wales. It will mean brand new, greener and cleaner tram trains faster services with more capacity and that true turn up and go service that the people of South Wales really do deserve. To deliver Metro we need to install over 170 kilometres of overhead line equipment which will power the brand new tram trains. We're also planning to install state-of-the-art signalling equipment, enhance many of our stations and modify some of our bridges like Forth Blethyn at Tafswell. Hello, my name is Sam Taylor and I'm the project manager for Taswell Depot. The Taswell Depot behind me is a £100 million scheme and is responsible for stabling, maintaining and charging our 36 brand new metro vehicles. Over the next 18 months at Taswell there will be significant works taking place. These works will include the bridge structure at the top of Forth Blethyn, the station improvement works, the main metro vehicle shed, the stabling area and the Core Valley Lines Integrated Control Centre. I'm Adam Davis, I'm a project manager for Amy Infrastructure Wales, working as delivery partner for Transport for Wales. As part of the Metro, we'll be delivering the, the main depot here in Taft's Well. In order to get the trains into the depot, we have to divert them off the main line, under a new bridge under the 4th Blethyn Highway, and into the depot in order to receive their daily maintenance. My name is David Noblet, I'm a project manager for Alan Griffiths Contractors. We're the infrastructure delivery partner working with Transport for Wales to deliver the works at Tafswell. In order to construct the new works safely, working adjacent to the existing main line and Cardiff Road Highway, um, we're required to close the existing Forth Levin Highway for a period of time. We've been working with Transport for Wales um, to try and reduce this closure period as much as possible. There are quite a number of utilities buried in the bridge that we need to remove one by one. We'll then need to demolish part of the bridge and reconstruct it at a slightly higher level to create that tunnel that we need underneath it to get those new tram trains into the depot. Following the completion of the 4th Blevin Bridge, there are extensive highway improvements to be completed, including a new signalised junction at Cardiff Road, uh, widening of the Taft Trail over Cardiff Road, and also resurfacing works. Whilst the road is closed, there will be well signposted and well publicised diversions in place for road users, pedestrians and cyclists and the station and its car park will remain open at all times for public transport users. Here at Transport for Wales we've been working closely with Amy Infrastructure Wales and Alan Griffiths to ensure the work is completely quickly, safely and with an aim to minimise disruption as much as feasibly possible. As well as the passenger benefits, Metro will truly help unlock the economic potential for South Wales. It will mean a lot quieter environment for those who live beside the railway it will be better for the environment and it will also help to massively reduce congestion on our roads. The facility will also bring over 400 jobs to the area and these will include uh, signalers and metro vehicle maintenance staff. The Taswell Depot is one of the first opportunities for Welsh suppliers to directly benefit from the Transport for Wales investment in South Wales Metro. Because of the significant amount of work that we've got to do to overhaul the ageing railway into a modern day metro, we are keen to keep our communities engaged and informed with what's going on. And that's why we've recently published our Guide for Communities, which is now available on our website. And it's at our website that you can find plenty more information on what's happening in your area. We'll also write to communities to keep them informed of our work. And you'll also find information on our social media channels. We understand that road closures and nighttime work isn't ideal and can be really frustrating for neighbours. However, we've tried to limit this as much as we possibly can and we're keen to be kind and considerate neighbours to those who live beside the railway. Thank you again for bearing with us.